In today's video, you will learn how to create a custom CSS selector. We will analyze the source code of the web page and build our own selector that can be later used for scraping data from web page or inserting data in otherwise elements that would be very difficult to do so in the traditional way. The fastest way to extract data from a web page is by using the web recorder, but this method can prove not to work many times. Modern web applications developed with new frameworks like React load elements dynamically have very complex selectors and therefore become impossible to spy certain elements of the web page with the web record feature. The first thing that we have to do is record the table and try to extract some elements. We can see that we can normally extract many of the elements like the name, the collection, the price and so on. But we seem not to be able to get the link. But we know that the link is there. If we want to be double sure and make sure that the link is there, we can inspect the source code of this page and make sure that the link is there. Now in the source code of this page that we can open and inspect with F12, we can see that uh, the hierarchy is structured so that there is divs, there is an article and there is also a link. If we compare this with our CSS selector, we'll find that there is a similarity. So the only thing that we have to do is copy the selector and delete all the unnecessary tags up to the selector that we are interested in. Once we have deleted all of the elements and we just have the path to the link, the next thing that we have to do is add the href selector or tag selector. This will indicate Power Automate that we are looking for a link. We can also add regular expansion, but more on this in another video. So the final thing that remains is now for us to save our process, run it and see if we have been able to extract the URL. After running the process, we can see that the process has run successfully. It has extracted all of the information, including the URL that was not present initially. So in today's video, you have learned how to create a custom CSS selector that is going to allow you to identify and spy all of those elements that are hard to extract and hard to identify and take the value out with the traditional methods. Thank you so much for watching RPA Champions and I will see you in the next video.